Good morning. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. It is a cloudy day here in East Tennessee. It's supposed to be 75, I think, or 78. It's really warm out, but the sun's not out. So I am in my kitchen making some bread for communion tomorrow at church. I make a sweet bread for communion, and it is super good. So I'm going to get started on that. This bread takes milk instead of water. I'm going to put my yeast in and let this bloom, but I'm going to start off with some warm milk, so I'm going to put it on the stove for a few minutes. And some of y'all may not know what that means, bloomed. So what I do is I'll get my warm cup of milk and I'll put a tablespoon of sugar, what it calls for, and then my yeast packet in here. And I usually stick it in the microwave. I don't turn it on, but I just keep it in here and let it foam up and froth, get real frothy. And that way I know my bread is gonna rise good because sometimes yeast is old. I've actually used older yeast packets that did not bloom and, and froth and get foamy at the top and my bread never rose. And you don't want that after getting all the ingredients in and waiting and waiting and waiting and then your bread doesn't turn out. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Alright, we're going to put this in the microwave for about 10 minutes and hopefully it'll foam up and proof and be ready to make bread. Alright, so you see it now. Okay, so right now I'm going to go ahead and make my flour, sugar, salt, egg, and melted butter mixture. And this is just all-purpose flour. And this calls for a quarter cup of sugar and it just gives that bread that sweet taste, which is really good. All right, I think we're melted here. Oh, that looks good. This is what you wanna see. The frothy mixture on the top of here. Um, it's telling me we're going to have some good bread. It's going to rise. All right, I'm going to collide these mixtures together, and we are going to use my dough hook and get this bread mixed up, and then we're going to let it proof in a bowl for about an hour or until it doubles in size, and that's just kind of variable on different factors, but it's pretty warm today in my kitchen, so I think it's going to be pretty good. I'm going to get this butter in here. Now this can certainly be kneaded by hand, but I, I usually use my mixer for the first round and then after I get it proofed the first time in my large pan, I take it out and then I do it by hand. Wallace, I'm using your mixer. I hope you're having a great day. Murphy, I hope you're having a great day too. do it in here for five to ten minutes until it's nice and elastic. Now in the meantime I'm going to oil this bowl because this is where I'm going to let it proof. Okay, a couple minutes down the road looking pretty good. Now I have oiled my pan. So I normally make bread in these two pans right here which they do really good. I got this one from William Sonoma and I love these pans. They've always worked really well for me. I've recently decided to um, go to cast iron, so I've made bread in these several times, different types of bread, but I have had an issue of it sticking, at least in certain parts. I don't know if it's just not totally seasoned well, but I've done a few techniques that they've said to do. So I've oiled it really good, and I still had it stick last time. I read this morning where it says to leave it in here until it completely cools and then pop it out of here. So I'm going to try it one more time. So I'm going to do one in one of these older pans and one in here, so if it didn't turn out pretty and come out kind of chopped up, then I'll take the other one to church. But I'm really wanting to master this, so I'm going to try this technique before I move on to another technique. I'm 
let it proof for about an hour and then I'll check it. All right, so we're coming up on about an hour, so I'm gonna check the bread. Oh, it's rising really good. I'm gonna give it just a little bit, maybe about 15 more minutes, and then I'm gonna divide it and put it in my bread pans and let it rise for a little bit longer. Y'all, the sun has come out. All right, let's check it again. All right, I think I'm ready to divide it and put it in the bread pans. Divide it. Just kind of punch the dough, remove the gases. I'm gonna let these rise for about 30 more minutes. Well, since I'm waiting on the bread to rise, I think I'll go water my lettuce, carrots, and my greenhouse. Let's go do that. It's gonna rain, maybe. maybe they're just, they're kind of blowing through, though, pretty quickly. Oh no, my grass blew over. Come on, come on. Don't look real happy at the moment. Let's get you some water. I think the time has come. I'm gonna go put it in the oven. I'm putting it in the oven on 350 for about 20 minutes. All right, the bread is done. It turned out amazing. I am gonna head down the shop and see what the guys are doing. I think they're still working on the table and I think it's gonna rain, I really do gotten even darker from the last time I was out. I better grab an umbrella. If I don't grab an umbrella, it'll rain. If I grab one, it won't rain. They're both broke. You're still sitting down. He ain't done nothing. No. What have you done? Glued up the end pieces. A lot of glue on it. I think that was a smart M cancer. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, Are it you makes cooking? Huge, it makes a huge difference. Am I cooking I bread for church? Huh? Bread for church? Communion? You got sweetener in it? Yep. They're just about gone on this front up here. They're just about gone everywhere except after today. Three there's oaks in front of Sam's house. Here You're the leaf the man, aren't you? That blow up here on I think you are. You better be nice because I'm going to put you on the camera. What are you putting your umbrella disposable out here on our property? My property. What in the sand? I don't know. I didn't do anything to it. It's a road spin. That's had the wind on all of it. Of course I just don't know. Mm -mm. I just opened up and it was like that. I didn't do it. You're the only one that had that bubble here today. Eli had them. With Mama Donna, that's the one I brought. You brought it. Keyword, you did. You broke it. What's wrong with that one down there? I brought it to you. You, you broke it. it. Seth broke it. The button doesn't work on this one. Whatever to do. 
Do you remember how to roll one down that's not electric? Yeah. I do. I'm that old. That was hard. <laughs> My goodness. Hush. There's something wrong with it. People I live with. 